I don't think any United fan can complain about what we just saw there. 2-0 win against Granada, a game where we didn't really have to get our second gear. But let's be honest, having gone into that tie 2-0 up, that's exactly the sort of performance that we wanted to see because we earned the right to play like that in that second leg. It didn't need to be drama. We didn't need to go into the last five minutes clenching just in case we conceded a corner because we were in cruise control. We gave ourselves that 2-0 lead in the first leg and we never let go of it. And that was because Edinson Cavani got the early goal. And he tonight again made the difference. Because had Granada got that early goal, it would have been a completely different game. But because Cavani got that early goal, made it 3-0 very early on, United were in total control. We didn't have to take it out of second gear. They scored no goal late on, but you know they had a couple of chances here or there. But Granada never really over the two legs, let's be honest, really ever threatened United. I thought David De Gea played well tonight, but Granada were crap. Really, really were. And United now face Roma in the semi-final of the Europa League. And there's there's plenty that you could talk about from that game tonight, individual before. I said there's not, there's plenty. There really isn't that much to talk about. There's one focus point that we have to talk about. United have to go on and win the Europa League in this position. There is no question about it. It's United against Roma in our semi-final and it's Arsenal. I'm not sure who Arsenal are playing. Is it Villarreal in their semi-final? United have to consider themselves firm favourites. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has lost plenty of semi-finals so far. He will want this trophy badly. And it could be a catalyst for change at United because it... it of all the progress that we've done, it really means nothing without silverware. And let's be honest, the Europa League is not the silverware that means anything to United fans. We've won that under Mourinho. We've won the FA Cup under Van Gaal and the League Cup under Mourinho. It's the it's the Champions League and the Premier League that are, have evaded us for so long. But Solskjaer winning the Europa League this year, it gets the monkey off his back. We get silverware. The players get used to winning again. They get that taste, the excitement to lift that silverware and win that trophy. That it has to be our focus between now and the end of the season. Beating Spurs, I already thought that we secured top four before we beat Spurs. But beating Spurs, I would say, almost guarantees it. And now we can just focus on these two. The, the, the games that we have left in this season, yeah, we've got Leeds coming up and Liverpool coming up. And sure, it'd be great to finish strongly in the Premier League, but it's all going to be about these games against Roma, the two semi-final legs, and let's see what happens. And I would back United to win that final against anybody that's left in this competition. But that game there tonight... We were without, without Maguire. I thought Chuan Zabe played well, very disciplined, disciplined, very organised, and he hasn't played that much this season. And I really feel for the kids because he's been really dogged by injuries. He really has. And I see Chuan Zabe as a sort of the athletic mix of by with uh, the actual quality of Lindelof. I think he's a, he's a blend of those two together. So I really want to see him play alongside Maguire more often. But hasn't played much this season, but he played there tonight because Maguire was obviously suspended. So was McTominay. So was Shaw. Tellez played okay. Fred and, and Matic in midfield. I hate that combination. Pogba. Weird first half from him, wasn't it? Uh, not weird in the fact that he played well, because he did play well. Weird in the fact that the referee somehow decided to give him a yellow card by him using his body to defend himself. Maybe his elbow was a little bit high, but I thought that was pretty damn harsh considering Pogba was just... And that's something I've really enjoyed watching of Pogba this season. He's such a physical specimen that it pissed me off over the last couple of years, to not see him using that as a big strength of his game. Because when he uses it, no one can knock him off the ball. If he uses it and stands strong and just forces people left and right, no one can really get near Pogba. And that's when it's really exciting to watch him play. He did that. Ref decided to give him a yellow card. There was question marks about whether he was suspended or not for the semi-final. I don't think he is. He needs three yellow cards and he got booked in the first leg against Granada. So I think he's only on two so far in the knockout stages. So Pogba's not suspended, but Solskjaer... Took him off of Van der Beek, a smart substitution. I thought tonight, game management-wise, Solskjaer, he did it all right. He took Pobre off at half-time. He took Bruno Fernandes off at, what was it, 60th, 70th minute. He took Greenwood off. He took the players off that he needed to take off. No massive risks were taken. Sure, he could take Fernandes off a little bit earlier, but he took him off. That's the main thing. But tonight was a... United only needed to play risk-adverse football because Cavani gave us that goal early on. Had we not scored that goal early on, and it would have been 0-0 going into the 70th minute, there would have been a nervous air at the back. Just just, just in case Granada snuck a goal because they would, they would only then be one goal away from extra time. But United, we stayed firm. Their chances, they weren't really threatening us that much at all. We didn't have to get out of second gear. It's not a game where... United, I think, are really going to be too 
concerned about. We weren't concerned about it going into it, and there's no real concerns coming out of it. But now we've got Roma. Remember, that same Roma team that we spanked 7-1. Has to be one of the greatest nights you'll ever see at Old Trafford. And United, we have to back ourselves. We have to get rid of this. In the same way that Man City had their quarterfinal Champions League hoodoo that was hanging over their head that they've got rid of now, United need to get rid of this semi-final hoodoo that exists under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because until it exists, it's going to be a thing. It's only a thing because it exists. As soon as we win a semi-final, it'll just be like, oh, that was that was nothing because it is nothing. But United need to win it. United need to go in that in confidence. I think, what, we've only lost one game in the last 19? But ever since we've changed our banners in Old Trafford to black instead of red, We've won. I think Brighton there, Granada there. Easy. Because if we hadn't have done that early this season, we would have won the quadruple probably. I don't think we would have. But, yeah. Tonight was a game where United, because of what we did in the first leg, the hard work was done. And therefore, you just have to enjoy what you watch tonight. It might not be the exhilarating, f- jam-packed, exciting football that a Spurs game was a few days ago, but it was everything it needed to be. We were 2-0 up. We didn't have to risk too much. The players didn't risk too much. Cavani got the early goal. Sit back, put your feet up, and enjoy it. And that's exactly what we did. And now we're through to the semi-final. Happy days, no injuries. Anybody get suspended from that? I don't think so. So that means Maguire's back, McTominay's back, Shaw's back. Pogba's not suspended because he was taken off at half-time. Hopefully we'll have a full-strength squad. Hopefully Rashford will be back as well. It's looking good for United so far. Towards the end of this season, we're really building momentum and just building performances. As I said, one loss in 19, that's a fantastic return. Who was your man of the match tonight? Let me know in the comments below. I'm giving it to Edison Cavani. Simply because I've just enjoyed watching a proper number nine at work. It's an art form. It really is. And watching him just hold his position, be in the right place at the right time. The goals that he's scoring, lovely finish, lovely header from Popper as well. I just enjoy watching him play because he is just a goal scorer. That's all he's on that pitch to do. Nothing else. But saying that at the same time, Cavani's work rate is outstanding. And he runs back. He's a great example for Greenwood to learn from in the same way that Ibrahimovic was a great example for Rashford to learn from. And I hope it's going to help them develop. But United, through to the semi-final of the Europa League, deservedly, easily, simply, we brush past Granada. Let's see what happens against Roma. Hopefully, we'll get another 7-1 at Old Trafford. That'd be nice. But let me know what your feeling is going into that semi-final. Your man of the match after that game. Everything. Let me know. But United, cruise control tonight. And that's all it needed to be.